Now, lastly, we're going to add some hand tracking. So just right click in here, go to add and see how hand tracker is grayed out. So I think we have to go to project properties and turn off Instagram because this only works in Facebook. Now again, right click, add hand tracker. Now, if you look over here, you can see the axis that's following my hand. So all we're going to do for this is take this glitter and duplicate it. And we'll throw it inside this hand tracker. And to make it really visible, let's up the birth rate to 250. And instead of a plane, we'll make this a ring. And I think 0.1 might be a good place to start. Let's see if a little bit smaller would be more interesting. Now it fits more in the palm of my hand. The only drawback is as soon as the hand disappears, so do the particles because they're a child of this hand tracker. So instead what we can do is drag out this hand tracker and see we have this 3D position that comes out of here. So if we pull out the glitter and then take the position patch from there and then plug this in, now you can see the particles are visible here. and pull the glitter outside of the focal distance, but not all the way outside of the device. Because I think if we go all the way out and we try this, let's refresh. You can see it's opposite the focal plane. If we put it in the focal distance and refresh, now it's too far back. So we need it between the very outside and the focal distance. I think camera or device would work. So let's just throw it above the focal distance. Refresh. Now it follows my hand. But when the hand disappears, these remain. So it's not dependent on the visibility of the hand anymore. Although now you can see the emitter <laughs> is staying where the hand last was. You can see this position here isn't changing. So to fix this, let's add an if else. And if the count is greater than zero, then we'll use the 3D position of the hand and we'll change this to a vector three. Otherwise we'll keep this at zero. So let's plug that all in and I'll just restart for safety and let's try this. So that's working. And you can see now it's back at zero, 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 which is actually kind of inside of the camera. So maybe we should make Z a positive number. And that way it's just way out here when it's not in use. So let's try that once more. So restarting, it's out of the way. When it sees a hand, it tracks to that. And when the hand is gone, oh, well, you can see. It's tracking my hand outside of the frame over here, but once it's totally gone, then it's just totally out of the way. And if you want, you could have this setup also control the birth rate so you're not calculating these, but I'll leave that up to you. So that's it. That's how to make a nice little warm filter.